Why, hello there, Mrs. Elke here, and today I am drawing with Olivia. Olivia. Yes, Olivia was in an animal mood today and decided that she wanted to draw a picture of a lamb. A lamb. Why did you want to do a lamb, Olivia? Because I was, um, I just got a new stuffed animal because we're hiding baskets and there's a lamb in my. There was a lamb in her Easter basket and she really wanted to draw one just like her stuffed lamb that she named Bernie. Bernie. All right, do you want to show them your picture? Here are our cute little lamb drawings. If you would like to draw a lamb with us, please follow along and see how your adorable little lamb turns out as well. If you guys are liking our videos, please hit that like button and subscribe down below so you can see more of the tutorials when we put them up on our channel, Elky Art. All right, should we get to it? Yes. Let's get to it. Thanks for watching, guys. So Olivia and I are all ready to draw kind of a cartoon looking lamb today, a baby sheep. They're so adorable, right Olivia? Yeah. Yes. Olivia and I are using markers, but if you'd rather use a pencil, feel free to do that. We just like to use markers so you guys can see our lines a little bit better. All right, we're gonna start a little bit above, halfway up our paper, and I'm gonna start with two eyeballs, okay? Now my eyeballs are gonna be ovals, kind of like eggs. Egg shape, one, two. And I guess try to make sure when you're doing your eyes that they are big enough so that we don't have a teeny tiny lamb, but we're actually using up the space of our paper. Inside our ovals, I'm gonna make two more ovals, one, two, like that, and I'm gonna add a circle inside of those. And I'm gonna color around that circle with black so that the circle stays white, but everything else in the middle size circle here is black. And that way, for the eyes here, we have a little highlight in the eyes. Now, if you don't have a little circle, it's not a big deal. I just like adding a little highlight in there. All right, I'm gonna go down from the eyes and I'm gonna make a line like this. That's a horizontal line. And then I'm going to make a curve line underneath like that. Then I'm going to go down and I'm gonna make two parts of the mouth. This is one side here and I'll put a little line like that and then I'm going to go on the other side and make a little line like that for the mouth. Good. All right now we're going to make the head and I'm actually just going to make kind of a U shape that goes around the face. So I'm going to start on the side of one of the eyes and I'm going to make a U that goes down and around to the other side. Yep. And then from there, I'm gonna make the ears. And lambs have some pretty cute, big floppy ears. So I'm gonna put mine nice and wide here. They're gonna go out and then back in like that. When you're making a cartoon version of something, you can always make things a little bit bigger than they are in real life. And ears is a kind of a fun thing to do that with. Good. We can make the inside of the ears too, just by making the same shape go on the inside of the lamb's ears. And notice how they go together as a point. So they kind of connect as a point and they come in and connect as a point too. All right, I hope you're good at drawing clouds. Are you good at drawing clouds, Olivia? Yep. Yes, oh good, because lambs Wool is just like drawing a puffy cloud. So I'm gonna start at the top of the ear here and I'm gonna make these bumps that you would use when you were drawing a cloud. And notice it goes up in the middle and then comes back down 
to the other ear like that. Nice puffy cloud shape. And I'm gonna do the same thing um, except going under this time to connect the top part of the lamb's head. So it looks like he's got a nice puffy cloud hanging out on top of his head, right? So adorable. All right, next I'm gonna go down from the lamb and I'm gonna make two curved lines. One, two. These are gonna be the front legs of the lamb. And from there, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make an upside down V. So one, two, one, two. So it looks like an upside down V on each one, yep. Then I'm gonna connect the V up to those curved lines like that. These are gonna be the little hooves of the lamb. Well, feet. Very good. Okay, now we gotta connect those to the lamb's uh, body and head. So watch how I do it. I'm gonna start a little bit on the outside of um, the bottom of the face here, and I'm gonna make some more cloud lines that bump all the way down to where the feet are like that. Good. And I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. So little cloud bumpy lines that curve down to the feet like that. Good. And then I'm gonna make just a couple of bumps coming up like that, maybe three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Awesome. All right, now this lamb could be standing, but I think I'm gonna have him sitting because it look, might look pretty cute like that. So we're gonna make the back legs kind of coming out like this. So I wanna make a line to show where those legs are gonna be. So I'm gonna make a curved line on that side and a curved line on this side to show where the back hooves are. And then just like we did with the front ones, I'm gonna go ahead and put those Vs in first. One, two, one, two. Oh, put it on this side, right there. Yep, good. And then the same thing there, good. And then I'm gonna curve them around to connect to those lines. Good. And then now we're gonna add all the fluffiness to connect them to the body. So I'm gonna start at the leg and I'm just gonna add some fluffy lines that kind of connect up to the side of the lamb here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make some fluffy lines that kind of connect up to the side of the lamb. Good. Yep, and same thing on that side. We're getting good at these cloud lines, aren't we, Olivia? Yeah. All right, the last thing we need to draw is kind of the, the behind, so to show where the lamb is sitting down. So I'm gonna make this bumpy line to connect the legs to the body, and then the behind is kind of right in here, and then it's gonna connect out to the other leg. So it looks like he's sitting down just like that. Now, if you want your lamb to be a girl, you can always add some little eyelashes. I like to make curved lines on the sides of the eyes like that. You could also put a little bow in the hair if you wanted. You could add, if it's a boy, you could put a little bow tie if you want. That would be kind of cute too. So you can get creative with adding some other things to your lambs. And then of course, if you'd like to color, you can do that. But lambs are kind of light. So should we show them maybe how we could color a lamb? Yep. Yep, let's do it. All right. To color a lamb, I'm actually gonna use kind of a peachy color. And I think you've got one right there, yep. And instead of coloring the whole thing in, I'm just gonna focus on the edges of the lamb. So I'm just gonna take my peachy color and kind of go around those cloud lines just to add a little bit of shading to the lamb, but it'll still make the lamb look pretty light. Now you could also do this with a very light blue color if you wanted. That would work, or you could even combine this peach and this like really sky blue color too. You could also use a gray, or you know, some lamps are black. 
So you could do that as well. But we'll just kind of stick with this really light peachy color. Yep, I'm just kind of going around all my cloud lines with this light peach, just to kind of shade the edges of the lamb here. And then you could do the same thing on the hair up here on the top, the hair, the wool, the wool on the lamb's head. Now the reason that Olivia wanted to do a lamb picture today is because she just got a cute little lamb stuffed animal in her Easter basket. So she's excited to have that. What did you name your lamb again? Bernie. Bernie the lamb. So cute. So we just added a little bit of shading there. Now the same thing goes true with the face. We could add some shading or we could even just color in the face real lightly with the, the entire color, this, this peachy color. And it might be kind of fun since this is kind of a cartoon lamb. A lot of times I like to add rosy cheeks too. So we'll be adding those in a minute as well. Because pink will be our next color. I'm not even sure. Why do you have two pinks? So we're going to color all around the ears, keeping it just real light. All right. At least it gives it a little bit of interest. And I mean, really, you could take any color like a blue or a purple and you could do the same thing just adding some shading with some other colors too, just to make it so that it stands out a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna keep mine pretty simple though. I'm not gonna really go too far with shading it with lots of different colors, but you could, this would be a fun one to practice keeping it really, really light, but maybe using a variety of colors too. All right, the next color I'm gonna use is pink. And I'm gonna use pink for the nose and the inside of the ears and the rosy cheeks. So if you can find a pink Olivia, you can go ahead and color the inside of the ears pink and the nose pink. And I'm gonna add some really light pink rosy cheeks for this lamb too that just kind of float out here on the side of the head. the nose yeah and then the last thing I'm going to use is a dark color like black and I only have one so I'll probably have to take turns with the black but the little hooves um, the feet of the sheep should be black so I'm going to go ahead and color those in or you could color yours in with a marker if you wanted Olivia use your black marker to color in the feet that would work as well. Now, if you are going to make a background for your lamb, um, it may be a good idea to have lots of colors behind it, and that way that'll make the light colors of the lamb show up better. So you could decide maybe you want your lamb to be sitting in kind of a, on a muddy ground or on the grass, or you could add a bunch of flowers around the lamb. And those would be great ways to make your light colored lamb stand out even more. Ooh, you're fast, you beat me. All right, what do you think, Olivia? Pretty adorable, huh? Yeah. Yes, all right, thank you so much for watching and coloring and drawing with us today. We love having you guys join us for these art tutorials. We hope that you come back again soon to see what else we have on our channel. We've got all kinds of fun things to draw and color and create on Elkie Art. Anything else, Olivia? Mm, nope. Nope. All right. Well, we hope to see you again soon, friends, and thanks for watching.